सो द टुडेज टॉपिक इज द ऑल टॉपिक कवर इन द पी व्ही ट्रेनिंग फर्स्ट टॉपिक दॅट इज द ड्रग डिस्कवरी अँड ड्रग डेव्हलपमेंट सो वॉट इज द ड्रग डिस्कवरी अँड व्हाय नीड्स टू ड्रग आर डेव्हलप और द अर्ली ड्रग डिस्कवरी इज नीडेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देअर इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट वन इज द द फेडरल फूड ड्रग अँड अ कॉस्मेटिक ॲक्ट ॲज रेग्युलेटेड थ्रू द टायटल ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ द यू एस कोड ऑफ फेडरल रेग्युलेशन्स द न्यू ड्रग ऑर अ ड्रग प्रोडक्ट इज सेफ अँड इफेक्टिव्ह ऑर फॉर इट्स प्रपोज यूज दॅन देअर स्टेजेस ऑफ द ड्रग डिस्कवरी there are the few stages of drug discovery that's first one is the new chemical entity then second one is the pre formulation study then the um, third one is the formulation study uh, investigational new drug applications pre clinical and clinical studies in in which the it included the phase 1 phase 2 then the new drug applications etc the snda means a uh, uh, supplemental new drug applications Uh, then the ANDA, it's a abbreviated new drug applications. Then the um, antibiotics, uh, drug biologics, etc. The preclinical uh, research uh, are um, given the time duration is six and a half years. The clinical research are uh, take, taking the time duration is seven year. And the review of NDA committee, it uh, takes the one and one and a half year. So the average 15 years are... Um, um approximate average 15 years for the initial synthesis to approve for the nda then the drug discovery and the drug design uh, there are um, the stages of the drug discovery and the drug design in which first one it's a sources of a new drug second one it's a gold drug then third is the methods of a drug discovery then the uh, lead compound and a pro drug then um, the second topic that is the clinical trials so what is the technical definition of the clinical trial a clinical trial is a systematic investigations of a human subjects for evaluating the safety and efficacy of a new drug then uh, there um, uh, there are uh, four types of clinical trials in which uh, there uh, first one is the phase 0 phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and a phase 4 so uh, first of all the phase 0 what is the phase 0 the phase 0 uh, it is the it also called as the micro dosing um, in which phase uh, the lit, uh, the micro dose uh, will be taking for the uh, uh, for the research purpose so the micro dose is less than 1 by uh, 1 by 100 of the, of the dose the objective in which uh, to obtain the preliminary pharmacokinetics data the phase 1 first step of testing in the human subject in which the 26 to 12 uh, in which the 20 to 25th healthy volunteers are taken and the time duration is 6 to 12 months then uh, the in which the sad med study are included sad is the single ascending dose and med is the multiple ascending dose uh, then uh, third one is the um, phase 2 in which uh, the uh, 20 to 300 healthy volunteers are taken and time duration is taking for the 6 months then the optimum uh, dose finding first is the dose efficacy relationship therapeutic dose regimen duration of therapy frequency of administration and a therapeutic window the phase 2 study are the two types first is the phase 2a and phase 2b phase 2a it is the design to access the uh, dosing requirement and phase 2b it's uh, it's a design to access the study efficacy the phase 3 that also called as the therapeutic confirmatory trial so in which the several hundred to 300 patients uh, or healthy volunteers are required the time duration is up to the five years Phase 3A, it's a prior to NDA and Phase 3B, it's a um, after the NDA review. Uh, then uh, what is the NDA? NDA is review, uh, NDA is refers the new drug application. Then uh, it's a formal proposal for the, for the FDA or a DCGI to approve the new drug for a scale. Then the phase 4. Phase 4 study, it's also called as the post-marketing surveillance. 
so uh, in which um, it is the lots of time uh, it's taking a lots of time and uh, uh, in, then the reporting of adr uh, uh, the reporting of adr in which the who international system the us fda med watch uk is the yellow card system india is the national pharmacovigilance uh, program cdsco and uh, it's con uh, that content are combined it's called as the seoms form then the next topic that is therapeutic index so what is the therapeutic index the definition is the therapeutic index is the quantitative measurement of the relative safety of a drug then the formula it's therapeutic index that is ld50 upon ed50 ld50 is the lethal dose and ed50 is the effective dose then the uh, therapeutic uh, window so um, the formula of therapeutic uh, window is the uh, mtc upon mec mtc is the minimum toxic concentration and mec is the minimum effective concentration so the next topic that is the pharmacovigilance what is the definition of pharmacovigilance uh, the the who according to the 2002 the pharmacovigilance it's a science that deals with the study of uh, assessment uh, detection understanding and prevention of a new chem new drug molecule or a new uh, drug product then um, the, so what is the there are four uh, important terms in the pharmacovigilance so that is the detection assessment understanding and prevention so what is the detection so in case of the clinical trial it's a investigator or in case of a post marketing trial it's either the physician or a prescriber or the patient himself who reports the adverse event or any other drug related problem that is the detection second term is the assessment so what is the assessment uh, it is the hcp would be accessing uh, assessing uh, if the adverse event or a drug related problem is due to the drug or it's uh, it's uh, due to some other reason that is assessment what is the understanding the reporter and a safety specialist is involved in the understanding the adverse event or a drug related problem the prevention it's a by pro uh, proactively reporting the adverse event or a drug related problem to the regulatory authority and taking the precautionary action would help to preventing the adverse event in the future uh, the scope and aim of the pharmacovigilance uh, so that is the first is the patient care public health risk benefit assessment and a communication so the icsr icsr is the individual case safety report and uh, it's a study report uh, that is the uh, step by uh, step by step process the first step that is reception of case second validation and duplicate check the lodging of the uh, case the try age data entry quality review the medical um, medical review then the case uh, case clo closer generate uh, generate the report for the sub second topic that is the regulatory bodies what is the regulatory body it's a definition so first of all a regulatory body is the government entity that responsible for making the regulations providing its a guideline and conducting the compliances of various healthcare industries uh, so the um, for for example the uh, two or three regulatory bodies that is cdsco it's a central drug standard control organization fda it's a us food drug administration mhra that is medicines and healthcare product regulatory authority ama that is the european medicines agency etc the uh, in the above the uh, country their regulatory authority and its full name uh, so first of all the usa the uh, it's a body that is the us fda and its full form united states food drug administration second is the uk it's a regulatory body it's a mhra that is the medicines health care uh, product uh, regulatory authority the third is the um, australia that is the tga it's a therapeutic goods administration the europe that is emea it's a european medicines evaluating agency then the reporting forms in india the india it's having the suspected adverse drug reaction reporting form the uk it's having the yellow card system the us fda it's having the medwatch form 
the medoch form it's a two type that is 300 and uh, 3500a and 3500 only the 3500a it's used only the hospital industrial purpose and the 3500 only it's used in the general public the software used for the reporting of icsr to the health authority first one it's the usa that uh, use the software it's a farm ready then the europe it's use the ev wave uh, india it's use the sugam mhra it's use the vigilance and for all row region it's use the manual submission second topic that is the gvp modules uh, so the gvp modules it is a good pharmacovigilance practices uh, it's a it's including the modules that is the it's including the modules the uh, first module that is pv system and their quality system module 2 that is the pv system master file third is the pv inspection fourth is the pv audit fifth is the risk management system sixth is the management reporting of adr seventh is the periodic safety update report eight it's the po post authority uh, authorization safety study ninth is the signal management then is the additional monitoring eleven is the public uh, participations public conti consultations etc the 14 it's a safety communication and 15 it's a risk minimization measures then the pharmacovigilance terminology it's an adverse event what is the adverse event any un untoward <coughs> medical occurrence in the patient or in the clinical investigations uh, subject to whom the pharmaceutical product has been administered it is not necessary for adverse event it to have been caused by the treatment and adverse reaction means uh, any untoward and unintended responses to the investigational medicinal product related to any uh, or does the um, administered the ICSR body or uh, the ICSR body is starting for the pharmacovigilance second one that is the collection of information from the different sources the third one that is the triage or a book in checking validity or and doing the duplicate search the third is the uh, next is the data entry into pharmacovigilance database the quality review the medical review checking of seriousness and a consultancy then the reportability or submission of the case report to health authority etc the triage is the fold valid criteria that is the uh, identifiable patient identifiable reporter suspense drug and adverse reactions the invalid criteria uh, that is the if uh, out of four criteria if one uh, one of criteria is missing that is the invalid case the incomplete case means what it is the source document is only having the suspect drug and adverse reactions so the triage it uh, it's a in the process of triage we will check the validity of the case we will check the whether the case is duplicate we will check the seriousness criteria etc and uh, so that's all topic it's cover thank you